So today we're going to be taking a look at this oscilloscope multimeter waveform generator. Yes, a three-in-one multimeter. So here, let me just take a look at the lead since it fell off first. This is a PVC feeling insulation on the wire, so it's not the softest. Let's take a look at the meter itself. Comes in a little pouch, and here is a USB-C cable. Now, in the past, I've reviewed other oscilloscope style multimeters. Um, now, like this one here, it runs on double A's, and this screen, this LCD screen, since it's continuously backlit, it does chew through batteries. And I believe this new one here has a built-in rechargeable. Yeah, there's no battery door, and here's a USB port, USB-C port right there. So built-in rechargeable batteries, that is a welcome change. Now, the, uh, the field test. Um, feels good in the hand. It's got the, uh, the rubber here that's what inlaid or molded right into the plastic. Maybe it doesn't feel like it comes off, but it feels like a power tool. You know, it's got heft to it. The rubber feels good. It's got a nice solid feel. So it, I guess you could say it passes the, uh, the skookum test. It's got a nice solid feel to it. And the dial, I'm noticing it's got LED lights here that change for each mode. We've got purple, white, that's kind of neat, greenish. Um, the dial. Feels all right. Doesn't quite snap. I guess it does kind of snap into place. I like it, you know, the dial to really confidently snap into place. This one's a little tiny bit mushy, but I'm just nitpicking. I turned down the room lights so you can see a little bit better how it's uh, got this colored LED backlight here for the dial. Here's all the different different color for each mode. I guess that's just to make it easy to tell at a quick glance if you memorize what color is what mode. And then I believe the screen has uh, two different brightness. Oh yeah, okay, so there's there's dim and there's bright. The screen does look good. I, I figured this would just be a copy of this older uh, must tool oscilloscope uh, meter, but I would say that the screen on the Gooch is brighter. And I don't know if the resolution's different, but and there we go. User interface isn't too bad. It's pretty easy to get around.